Hi there, it's Rosie O'Brien with a national news briefing. Election campaigning is back in full swing after a temporary reprieve on Good Friday. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese is in Cairns where he's announced a plan to set up a national corruption watchdog. It's something the PM promised at the last election but blamed Labor for not supporting it. The fact that he's saying that uh, he can't pass things unless we agree, well, why would you vote for him? If he, if he says that he needs Labor uh, to uh, pass any legislation, he hasn't even introduced the legislation to Parliament. On 4CA there, Scott Morrison is in Melbourne where $3 million is expected to be announced to help agricultural shows recover from the pandemic. Police are investigating a suspected acid attack in the Sydney CBD. A group of men got out of a vehicle and allegedly threw a substance at the woman last night before driving off. The woman is in hospital being treated for facial burns. And this Easter, we're being encouraged to reach for chocolate bilbies instead of bunnies. Each purchase of a chocolate Easter bilby will see a portion of the price donated to the Save the Bilby Fund, which works to restore the population. This is important. There's only a handful of these animals left across uh, Queensland and uh, other parts of Australia. And so we want to make sure that these animals do not go extinct on our watch. Chairman Al Mucci speaking there. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. To AFL, and St Kilda takes on the Gold Coast at home today. Standing coach Brendan Lade predicting it'll be tough to score against the Suns. They're playing really well. It's been some low-scoring games against them in all their games. They've been playing a bit different style to last year. They possessed the ball a lot more last year. Now they're going forward a lot more. In other matches, the Eagles were thrashed by by the Sydney Swans and the Western Bulldogs secured a 68-point victory over North Melbourne. And in the NRL, Panthers captain Nathan Cleary has escaped suspension for a dangerous tackle during last night's win over the Broncos. Selling the family home. Cloudy, dropping down to 13 degrees tonight, with tops of 25 tomorrow for the Limestone Coast. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.